everybody, welcome back to Colin's Crazy Creatures. I'm here with my friend Haley. You know Haley from the Toad video where we built Toad Houses with all my other friends. She's here because I want to show her my new pet lizard. This is my new pet lizard, Kevin. That's not a lizard, that's a snake. This is a lizard, Haley. It doesn't have any legs. That's because it's a legless lizard. What the heck is a legless lizard? A, le a lizard with no legs. Well, I've never heard of that. How can you tell the difference? Well, I'll show you. I'll start with the head and end with the tail. To start, we'll look at his eyes. A, a legless lizard's eyes have eyelids like people. A snake doesn't have eyelids, they have eye caps, which is a special scale that's clear and comes off during shedding. And if you look behind the eye on a legless lizard, you can see an ear hole. All lizards have an ear hole and it's an external ear. Snakes don't have an external ear, which is why most people think they're deaf, but they're not deaf. They have an internal ear that's covered by skin. A lizard's jaws have a special bone that lets them open their mouth extra wide. A snake has the same bone, but it's different, so they can not only open their jaws even wider, but their mandibles are not connected, so they can eat even bigger things than their head. A legless lizard's teeth are conical or cone-shaped. A snake's teeth are hook-shaped. So something, so if they bite down on something and the thing tries to get away, they can't. The teeth will just get in deeper. A snake, most people know that a snake's tongue is forked. Their tongues are long, skinny, and have a wide fork. A legless lizard has a thicker tongue and a very small fork. Now we're moving on to the body. A snake's skin is very stretchy, so when they eat a large thing that's bigger than their head, they can still swallow it. A legless lizard's skin is not as stretchy as a snake, so they can't expand when they're swallowing a lot of things. This line right here is where the top part of Kevin's body ends and his belly starts. A snake does not have this. Another difference between a snake and a lizard's belly is their belly scales. A legless lizard has the same kind of scales as on his top. A snake has plate-like scales that start from the, from the back of his neck down to the tail. As you can see on Haley, BB is very flexible because they he's a tree snake and most snakes are very flexible because they have to get into small places and they can curl up into a, into a spiral. A legless lizard is nowhere close to as flexible, though it is pretty flexible, especially with the tail. But he, but they can't turn into a ball or coil up like a snake can. So Haley, where do you think BB, BB's and Kevin's tails start? Well, they're practically all tail. That may seem like that, but it's not true. So which one do you think has the longest tail? The okay. legless lizard. Well, let's start with BB. Both of their tails start at the cloaca, which is where they poop out of, which is like their butt. BB's cloaca <laughs> starts right here, and this is his tail. Now let's look at Kevin. Kevin's cloaca is up here. Cloaca is up here. So his tail is this long. So it is much longer than his body. So you're right that you about it. 
The final difference between a legless lizard and a snake is that legless lizards can drop their tail, which is why they're called glass lizards. The tail can also shatter into multiple pieces, like glass. So would you like the whole? Sure. Okay, I'll take you. Hold, now hold his body. He does Okay. How does it feel? Weird. Yeah, it's pretty weird holding a lizard with no legs. Thanks for showing me your legless lizard, Colin. I learned probably more than I wanted to know. Well, anytime. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next time on Colin's Crazy Creatures. They're usually like. Okay. <laughs> All right, but let's.